restoring faith. A little bit, a little bit. And restoring faith, and it really just shows what the Texan character is about. That's right. And now even the American character, because people Thank from you. other states are coming in to help us. So we do appreciate that, and you know the the help is going to continue to come, and they're going to need more help because even more rain is falling. As we take a look at what's happening right now, you can see heavy rain southeast of the Houston metro area, but in near Galveston, right along the coast, seeing more heavy rain getting pulled onto shore because the center of circulation of Harvey is now out over the open water. It has not gained any more strength, but is tapping into this warm. Gulf water and pulling in that tropical moisture. So you can see a lot of heavy rain near Galveston right now, right up 45 as you're going to be traveling, trying to travel up there. And a lot of those roads you can't travel on near Baytown. Also, the same story near Houston, some light to moderate rain, but it is a steady rain and widening out the view. You can see that our future sky forecast shows maybe a little bit of drying going in towards 10, 11 tomorrow morning. I think by this time tomorrow night, as Harvey starts to pull a little further off to the east, we'll start to see the drier. On that northwest side of this tropical storm, start to push closer towards Harris County and the Houston area. But look, it is feeding off of 84 degree water temperatures. Uh, we're dealing with really warm Gulf waters right now. The water temperatures are two degrees above normal, and the warm water goes down 300 to 400 feet as fuel for this heavy rain. So right now, Harvey is sitting out over the open water. It is continuing to pull its way east, and the forecast track shows then by uh, late tomorrow night. East of Galveston, then on shore again near Sabine Pass, and then pushing its way inland closer towards the Mississippi River Valley by Friday into Saturday as a tropical system. 39.72 inches of rain in Dame. So you can see across the county, that was in Liberty County, Harris County, 36 inches. And Elise, this is going to be one for the record books. It absolutely is. Yeah, as we get into the middle of the week, Scott, we could very well be talking about the most rainfall uh, from a single tropical system in the U.S. These are our numbers. Numbers per state, the maximum rainfall from a tropical system. As you can see, Texas leads the way at 48 inches. That from Amelia. But of course, we are looking at places across uh, or the Houston, the greater Houston area that have already seen 35 inches, forecasting possibly 15 more inches or so. So easily we'll be able, it looks like, to break that record for the maximum rainfall uh, in not only Texas, but in the entire country. As far as that area that has seen the most rain, 30 to 35 inches, up to 40 inches. The heaviest part of that rain, you could put it all across North Texas, stretching from Cook County down to uh, McLennan County. A lot of rainfall, of course, and a very widespread area. And for perspective, the past three days, how much rainfall they've gotten in Dayton, that's just outside of Houston, to almost 40 inches of rain. That's more than what we got. All year last year, Scott. Yeah, and, and definitely not not something that we like to have to report, but to put it in perspective, they've seen more in that one area in three days than we saw all of last year at DFW. Right now, not a lot, a lot of rain on the uh, radar for us. We are remaining dry, but as we go through the next couple of days, we'll start to see that rain increase just a little bit more. Southeast counties possibly picking up maybe anywhere uh, to between about three to four inches, maybe down near Bryan. But the seven day forecast shows that Ken and Kaylee, as we go through the next few days, rain chances increase a bit when. Wednesday, Thursday, then drop back down as we go into Labor Day weekend. Rain chances at 20%, temps near 90 degrees. All right.